Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Peter Kilpatrick, uh, provost here at Illinois Tech, and I'm delighted to serve as your MC today for our ribbon cutting ceremony for the College of Computing uh, here at Illinois Tech. Off camera, we have a great live virtual audience, and we thank everyone for joining us here in real time. Uh, on, the College of Computing is making a, a real difference here at Illinois Tech and in Chicago, and that's by design. Computing and data science have long been an essential part of the Illinois Tech curricula, really going back to the 60s uh, when we were training thousands of high school uh, students and high school teachers and launching our, our computer science department. Since then, computing has become far more important and ubiquitous, uh, as we all know. Reorganizing, broadening, and elevating our computer science, data science, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity curricula within a new college of computing is part of the momentum that Illinois Tech is commanding in our commitment uh, to advance higher education. As Chicago's only tech-focused university, it makes sense to not only launch a college that's dedicated to computing and computational science and skills, but also to infuse computing throughout each of our colleges and disciplines. Uh, and that's really unique here at Illinois Tech. This approach ensures that computational literacy and uh, computing knowledge will inform every Illinois Tech degree. Today, we will hear from top computing industry leaders. We'll learn how the College of Computing is advancing Chicago as a leading global tech community. And we'll learn how we are providing students from all backgrounds, all zip codes, with important professional roles in today's tech society. <laughs> We're also gonna send out some door prizes to a random set of live viewers. So more on that later. But now it's, it's my real pleasure to introduce our first speaker, our alumnus from Chicago Kent Law School and our chairman of the board, Michael Galvin. Mike earned his JD, as I mentioned, from Chicago Kent, and he serves as our board chair and literally has transformed our board over the last two years. Uh, we really owe Mike a tremendous debt of gratitude uh, for the generative conversation he's brought to our board and the way that he's really engaged our, our board. And we also owe Mike a big debt of gratitude because he understands firsthand how philanthropy can help change a university. Uh, Mike and his wife, Elizabeth, are making an enormous difference here at Illinois Tech. Um, just a couple of examples, their recent commitment to create the Michael <laughs> Paul Galvin Chair in Entrepreneurship and Applied Legal Technology here at Illinois Tech, and his endowment of the Robert W. Galvin Center for Electricity Innovation are just a couple of examples where Mike is uh, joining people and purpose. Uh, and that's a theme that's rippling through our whole university and most certainly within our College of Computing. So please uh, join me in welcoming our board chair, Mike Galvin. Mike? Well, thank you very much uh, for those kind words, uh, Peter. It's a team effort. You know, it, it's, it's uh, amazing that it was exactly one year ago tomorrow uh, that the Board of Trustees voted enthusiastically to consolidate Illinois Tech's time-honored computing programs and curricula into a new college of computing. And already, here we are. What a special and important endeavor to launch a new college. At Illinois Tech, we embrace the full potential of our students, faculty, and staff in doing so. Establishing the Consolidated College of Computing is a testament to how Illinois Tech remains true to our mission, even as we advance and expand our academic offerings in this area and others. In fact, it's because of our mission that this college is necessary. Computational literacy, as Peter just said, is a critical part of all educational uh, disciplines and degrees and prepares all of our students for success in a tech-centric world. This is part of how Illinois Tech advances technology for all. Another critical component of advancing technology for all is through philanthropic efforts. As the provost noted, I was humbled and proud to give back to Illinois Tech, my alma mater, and to do so in ways that ensure our participation 
makes a measurable impact from helping with scholarships, endowing professorships with annual fund contributions to the university and supporting a college or two. So uh, just as the innovative brilliance that emerges from our hardworking students and faculty, you know, comes from the collective difference rather than a one size fits all mentality, well, so does philanthropy. I know that Dean Fortnow and the College of Computing's Board of Advisors and all deans throughout Illinois Tech are working hard to ensure that we have the opportunities and the funding to get involved in the most meaningful ways that fit with what we're able to bring to the table. And I thank them for that. I also applaud the inaugural student class of this new College of Computing and all of our Illinois Tech students who are leading us to answers to society's most complex puzzles through their creativity and their ingenuity. It's time, it's, it, 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 it's not just time, it's a great time to be part of Illinois Tech. Thank you to all who are joining us today for this wonderful celebration. Peter, back to you. Thank you, Mike. Up next, I'm very pleased to introduce the president of Illinois Tech and my good friend and mentor, Alan Cram. Hello, everyone, and isn't this a wonderful afternoon? Uh, something great to happen, the formation of a new college. And I'd like to thank uh, Chairman Galvin, Dean Fortnow, Sonia Petrovic, Chris Gladwin, Rohit Prasad, and Victor Sow for being part of this afternoon, and we'll be hearing from a number of them later. I really think it's uh, amazing that we have such a long history in computing here uh, at Illinois Tech. I mean, uh, many people talk to me now when I run into them. Uh, the founder of Wiki, for example, referred to getting his first ever class as a high school student here at Illinois Institute of Technology and learning how to program with IIT TRAN, their version of Fortran at that time. So it really makes sense that we should move forward in this way and we should move forward in this vision that came from uh, Chris Gladwin and Peter and the computer science faculty and discussions with everyone that we would infuse computational literacy across the university. That everyone in the future would need these skills. We need to understand these skills. We need to understand why you need these skills and what you could do with them. So this is a really exciting day for the university as we embark on this voyage into the future, because it is a voyage into the future. We've decided that uh, the future of the university, the future of our students and the future of computing goes together. And uh, I think that as our guests talk about this, you'll see why. And in that, we want our graduates to become the future of Chicago, leading new companies, leading companies that have existed for a long time in this new world of advanced computing, of advanced technology using computing. So it's a really exciting time for the university, a really exciting time for Chicago. And we're involved in DPI and P33, groups that you've heard of that are also looking at how do we make Chicago a great technology place, a great technology destination, and a place where technology is developed, not just implemented. I, I think that is very exciting for everyone. And now I invite you, to take a look inside the College of Computing and watch this video. I think with the creation of the College of Computing that Illinois Tech students are being able to thrive in that knowledge of technical languages that they need for the future. Math is at the foundation of everything we do in the tech. Computer programming is going to be necessary no matter what job you get into. The college is infusing computation and data analysis into each degree program at Illinois Tech. It's a new approach to college education. The College of Computing is educating Chicago's future tech leaders and innovators. Diversity is the most essential component that the College of Computing and Illinois Tech in general is focusing on because we need those different viewpoints. We need those different experiences to be able to think outside of the box, to innovate, to set ourselves apart from the rest of the universities and the rest of the country. Thank you, Alan. 
And, and thank you for that great look uh, inside our campus and in our classrooms. And Alan, thanks for the amazing job you've done as president these last six years. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Um, and now it's, it's my real pleasure uh, to introduce the, the dean of the new College of Computing, the inaugural dean, uh, Lance Fortnow. We were very fortunate to hire uh, Lance a few years ago from Georgia Tech after he led the School of Computer Science there. And I knew Lance was the right person to stand up uh, this new college. So Lance, over to you. Uh, thanks, Peter and uh, Mike Allen and all our program participants. And thanks to all of you for joining us for the celebration of this new College of Computing. Making computing and data science a central tenant of the university provides us the mission of providing the students and faculty from all backgrounds and disciplines the best in-class computational and data science platform to excel in their respective fields. I want to really thank and acknowledge uh, Provost Kilpatrick and our trustee, Chris Gladwin, for the vision and dedication that made this college possible. We started the College of Computing last June, and despite the challenges of the past year, the transition has gone quite smoothly. I would like to thank the department chairs, the associate deans, the strong staff and faculty we have across the board who have worked well together as we chart the future path of the college. Every month, I've had the great uh, privilege of discussions with uh, Chris Gladwin, Rohit Prasad, and Victor Sow to discuss the road ahead their leadership and dedication reflects their ongoing commitment and enthusiasm for the college. And you'll, you'll hear from them later. Following the university's strategic plan, the College of Computing is built on three pillars. The first is to help the university serve as a catalyst for the tech community in Chicago and beyond. We want to be that institution that helps draw companies into Chicago and keeps them here with access to our outstanding students and faculty. The second pillar is the view of a college as a horizontal, as, uh, as uh, the provost mentioned. Nearly every aspect of our society is undergoing a digital transformation, which the pandemic has only hastened. We want to ensure every Illinois Tech student, no matter the discipline, has the basic knowledge to know what one can do with computers and data and how to use them to make responsible decisions and actions. The third pillar goes back to the founding mission of the university. To paraphrase Frank Gonzalez, to provide students from all backgrounds productive roles in a changing technological society. We aim to provide students a tech education for those who wouldn't normally have the opportunity for one. This is the heart of the difference Illinois Tech, Illinois tech makes for our students and for society. Perhaps my favorite activity as Dean is reaching out and talking about the college and its goals with our alumni, trustees, community partners in academia, industry, and government. We are in the midst of planning a future vision and strategy for the college, and I welcome your input and would love to hear from you. you know, feel free to reach out. Um, yeah, finally, I just want to mention that uh, at the start, at, at 2 o'clock, um, we're having a special talk from uh, Professor, Professor Moshe Vardy from Rice University about ethical crisis and computing, and I welcome all of you to join us, and I'll, I'll put a link to the talk in the chat if you haven't gotten it already. Um, but thank you for joining us, um, and uh, Peter. Thank you, Lance, you. and we're delighted to have you at the helm of uh, the new College of Computing. Up next, we're going to hear from Associate Professor of Applied Math in the College of Computing, Sonia Petrovic. Uh, Sonia is doing some exciting work in the area of socially responsible modeling, uh, and it's my pleasure to bring her to you. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. You see my uh, yes, small, yes. simple slide? Okay, good. <laughs> so it's my pleasure to be here today and uh, have a couple of minutes to, to show you a new initiative we have. So Lance mentioned how computing is integrated with many disciplines and one of the college's goals is to make a difference in education and society. So to that end, I introduced the Soremo Initiative which ties together mathematical modeling, computation, and design under a common theme of social responsibility. This was born within applied math within the College of Computing, but now encompasses almost every college on campus. What is the point? Well, much of the technical knowledge increases in value when it can be meaningfully applied to problems facing society today. We live in treacherous times and many students, particularly undergraduates, will likely gravitate towards those universities, programs, and degrees 
that allow them to make a difference in society. How does one make a difference? Well, one way is to go on a program that is hands-on, such as nursing. But another is to pursue one's passion, let's say in computational statistics, and then look for ways within that discipline to have an impact, make a difference and inspire change. So this initiative grew out of an idea that education, specifically higher ed, should help society. We empower students to enact the positive societal change that they're passionate about. The human side of technology is a hot topic in government and industry. And so since our faculty work on projects under this theme and our students are involved, Soremo aims to bring these efforts into a common spotlight discussion forum, enable an organically created think tank to identify future developments to propel each of these solutions beyond campus into Chicago, into the world. So what is Soremo? It's a network of faculty and professionals providing a framework for social responsibility to become a core value in both research and education at Illinois Tech. Why the word social responsibility? We all know that our lives and choices are increasingly defined by data-driven technologies. They often perpetuate inequities, racial and gender. They often infringe on privacy and civil rights. They hinder sometimes full participation in building stronger and more vibrant communities in Chicago and beyond. Soremo faculty spend many disciplines from a diverse set of 80 departments on campus from College of Computing, Science and Letters, Engineering, Institute of Design. I will not read all of these too many names. But what we bring to the table is the fact that the conversation across these disciplines is key in designing effective and innovative solutions to problems in society, industry, uh, your neighborhood. Therefore, we build bridges. We offer a discussion of innovative project ideas at incubation stage. We connect seed research ideas to faculty and professionals across the campus and the city. How do we do this? Through a multidisciplinary seminar called the Forum. The Forum is the central event of Soremo. Who participates? Everyone who wants. Students, faculty, external advisors from government, industry, academia. Highlighted here on the slide are our upcoming speakers in the Forum who are external focusing on social responsibility and humanity of AI related to today's talk. We're continuously looking for community stakeholders to join us as external advisors and subject matter experts. How are students involved? Well, as a very active audience, but also as fellows. This semester, we are proud to support the inaugural class of four student fellows. We're grateful to the provost and the dean for supporting us to kickstart this initiative and of course are continuously looking for, uh, for you know, furthering and growing this fellowship program. What is the goal then? The goal is to integrate education and applied research with, fill in the blank, your organization and community needs. We're looking to collaborate with anyone who would like to sit right alongside us as we craft innovative solutions to these problems and the students will be leading those solutions with advisors uh, in faculty. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sonia. And thank you very much for your leadership on this initiative. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, up next, we are delighted to introduce our, our, and very proud to introduce our alumnus, uh, our College of Computing Board of Advisor member, and Illinois Tech Trustee and, and Vice President and Head Scientist of Alexa Artificial Intelligence at Amazon, Rohit Prasad. Rohit? Thank you, Peter. Uh, the last 14 months have been a harsh reminder to technologists like me that so much more needs to be done to improve our society and prepare us for unforeseen events. I would say more than ever, every aspect of computing individually and collectively has the potential to alter our social fabric, reshape the entire planet, and now even the solar system, but for fundamentally for the greater good of all. From personal computing in the hands of billions to networking advances that connect nearly every corner of the globe to artificial intelligence services that are revolutionizing daily convenience, many of us are experiencing a reality that just two to three decades ago, we thought as science fiction. As exciting and life-changing advances in these individual fields of computing are, I feel we have just begun to scratch the surface of what's possible. The challenges before us require a multidisciplinary and multi-sector approach, bringing together academia, private, and public sectors. Take any field, drug discovery or self-driving cars as examples. The only way we'll achieve our ultimate visions in these areas is by bringing together advances in sensors to acquire the best data for decisions, large-scale data storage, 
hyper low latency processing for insights, and of course, machine learning to augment human intelligence. Given the far reaching potential of computing to alter all aspects of society, we also need to be responsible and pragmatic on how we apply these technologies. I believe fields of cybersecurity, sustainability, ethics, and public policy must come together to ensure that the next generation of computing advances are distributed more equitably and not just to a privileged few. With such unprecedented challenges comes an incredible opportunity for learning and impact at scale for both the current and the next generation of leaders. Alumni like me who are here today are fortunate to be living their dreams in their current roles, but nothing is more important to us than how we can develop the next generation of leaders. The current generation of students, whether in graduate school, undergraduate, or K to 12, are learning at breathtaking pace because of resources at their disposal. At the same time, the demands of the future require students to learn different disciplines, put theory into practice on real world applications, and have an entrepreneurial mindset to incubate new ideas that can blossom into new companies. If I were a student today, I'd want to be at a university that is making a bold and transformative bet for enabling such learning. By bringing together multiple disciplines, the School of Computing at Illinois Tech is a massive bet for democratizing computing. I feel privileged to be a part of this endeavor, and I'm confident that the next generation of leaders emerging from this school will have a profound impact on our society. So thank you, and back to you, Peter. Thank you, Rohit, for those inspiring words. Really appreciate it. And now it's, it's my very great pleasure to introduce uh, our College of Computing uh, Board of Advisors Chairperson, our Illinois Tech Trustee, P33 Vice Chair, and the CEO of Ocean, and a great friend of Illinois Tech, Chris Gladwin. Over to you, Chris. Awesome. Thanks, Peter. Yeah, I, I wanted to add a few comments really just to characterize, you know, both the nature and the scale of the opportunity that we have here. Uh, at Illinois Tech with computing. And as, as Lance mentioned, this isn't just like something inside of computer science, although that is a big part of it. Um, Sonia mentioned some of the things going on with regard to joint uh, research and joint activity between departments across the university. You know, and as she mentioned, pretty much ethics as a uh, consideration applies everywhere to everything, you know, because the power is so great. Um, but you could have, you know, a lot of examples where, you know, the business of educating people um, to manage software development, for example, that's a really great opportunity of um, something in demand and something that the, the world really needs. Um, and then the idea of Im infusing computing across the university everywhere, you know, as an architecture student, it is profoundly useful to understand how to harness computing to be a better architect or to do more biology or, you know, to, to make an impact in law. Um, this also covers every aspect of what the university does, research, learning, you know, working with employers. Um, you know, this is, this is core to what we are and what we will be. You know, the fit with Chicago is really perfect, you know, in a lot of ways, you know, the conversations we've had here to make this initiative has been in concert with the city of Chicago through P33 and other organizations, because Chicago is also going through the same, same transformation. And what we've seen during those conversations really just over the last three years is the impact of computing at a scale never before seen. If you, if you look at the combined market cap of Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and Facebook, you know, they were $3.5 trillion three years ago, now $7.7 .7 trillion. To put that in perspective, the United States of America is by far the largest economy ever. It's $21 trillion. So those five are now more than a third of the United States. Um, I mean, that's profound and, 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 and growing. Chicago's about a trillion dollar economy. So you're talking about creating Chicago's of wealth and impact um, every time you turn around uh, with, with this kind of uh, scale and focus on computing. That's what's the potential uh, to be a part of that. Um, if you look at um, venture investment uh, this past year in the midst of a pandemic, it was a record setting year with $150 billion invested and $250, $260 billion of exits. 
The biggest exits were Airbnb, Snowflake, and DoorDash. Those are computing companies. Airbnb doesn't own hotel rooms. You know, they own information about hotel rooms. That's a computing company. Um, you know, and, and there's literally hundreds of other examples at crazy scale that, that you could cite. Um, this is the greatest wealth creation engine ever, computing. Um, it's hiring hundreds of thousands of people. It's the greatest amount of future research we're ever going to see. Um, and th this is applying computing everywhere. It's not just, you know, uh, rooms full of servers. I mean, this is a big part of everything in society. So what this really means for Illinois Tech is we have an opportunity to be a part of these truly historic trends. Um, and really the, op the opportunity we have now is, is limited really by our ability to execute. You know, how well we can realize this opportunity is what will bound how far we can go. And if you look out you know, let's say in the next 50 years or the, the rest of the century, you know, the, the, the leading universities, you know, in the 21st century uh, will be determined, you know, by their leadership in computing. And that's the opportunity we have before us. So thanks for inviting me. You know, it's great to be a part of this and back to you, Peter. Thank you, Chris, for those great comments. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, now we're very fortunate to have a special message from our alumnus uh, College of Computing Board Advisor and the co-founder of Linksys, Victor Sal. Victor is currently in Hong Kong where it's 3.30 a.m. So he's joining us uh, via pre-recorded video. Good afternoon. I'll apologize that I cannot be with you in real time. Tom Freeman said that the world is flat. I think it's literally true. I'm lying flat in the other side of the globe right now. Illinois Tech is a global and international institution. Our campus is in the center of Chicago, and you may say that we are based in almost the center of the country. Our students, faculties, and spirits are not only from the city or other states, but also from other countries. Our alumni are based in all over the states and the world. I became a member of the Illinois Tech since 1977. I came to the computer science department with one single goal, to learn mathematical models, data structures, and algorithms to build a relational database. Well, how the computer science and the information technology have evolved. I still remember one of my classmates in the steel building who was working on his PhD thesis to create a simulation software to perform the operation of a thumb and the index finger. Now, we are taking it for granted on robot manufacturing, driverless car, even create music by robot or artificial intelligence. I've never heard about Wi-Fi nor 3G, 4G, 5G data communications while I was in the campus. Those technologies were not around yet. However, Illinois Tech did provide me a solid foundation of data science and a computation-based critical thinking education. When the Wi-Fi technology and the internet involvement were matured in the 1990s, I was ready to take advantage of the design and the de development of a useful product. Did I expect it? When I was studying in the steel building classroom? No, of course not. Well, I'm sure you have your story to tell 20, 30, or 40 years from now. Data science, information science, and computer science are here to stay. It connects from government to institutions, from business to individuals. It influences our lives from our daily learning and business practice to our daily activities and the lifestyles. What you're learning today in our college, you help you to enjoy your own sense of achievement and to create positive impact to others. Today, it's wonderful to see that my 1977 Department of Computer Science expanding to the 2021's College of Computing. It's great to be empowered, to have a broader responsibility and to connect and to make a bigger impact 
to our society. Congratulations to all of us. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Victor. Uh, what a wonderful message. And Victor really aptly demonstrates that uh, our alumni and friends connect with us uh, no matter where or when in the world they are. Uh, Rohit, I've got a message here that uh, maybe you're helping with the next portion of the event. Is that right? Well, Peter, actually, I'm going to throw the mic elsewhere. Hey, Alexa, can you help me with something? I would be happy to help Rohit. Virtual scissors ready? Three, two, one. I now officially dedicate this. The College of Computing at Illinois Institute of Technology. Wow, that was great. Uh, special <laughs> thanks to all of our speakers and of course to Alexa for making this such a great event. Uh, three randomly selected attendees from our 150 plus will receive an email later this afternoon that you have won Illinois Tech Prizes, which we'll send to you upon confirming your mailing address. And please be sure to join us at 2 p.m. for the lecture that uh, Lance announced, which is a very exciting lecture. I've heard Moisha speak uh, many times, an ethical crisis in computing. Uh, Moisha is the uh, university professor and Karen Ostrom George, distinguished service professor in computational engineering at Rice. Um, and I look forward to Moisha's uh, uh, words for us this afternoon. Have a great afternoon and thanks for joining us.